welcome back, and if this is your first time joining us, my name is Gerald. I'm a meteorology major here at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte, and I love all things weather. So that's a little bit about me. I'll run you through the plan for today's video. Uh, we're going to start off by finishing up the discussion on this clipper system moving through the southeastern United States, and even talk about some areas that haven't seen snow yet this year that could maybe get just a little bit out of that. And then we're going to transition into the forecast and the big pattern change going into the rest of this week and into the new year. Then we're going to finish up on talking about who in the country could potentially be counting their snow in feet by the end of this week. So let's go ahead and get right into it. We'll start off with this clipper system. So we've had snow falling throughout portions of central Tennessee today, northern Mississippi, northwestern Alabama. Uh, and we're going to slowly watch that transition further to the east overnight into parts of northern Georgia, the southwestern mountains of North Carolina, and potentially even a little bit of the upstate of South Carolina, seeing some flurries and maybe even a little bit of light snow. So uh, we'll go ahead and run you through the future cast here on this. Uh, snow showers continuing in areas that have already seen snow today. Uh, but as we get into the next couple hours and into the overnight hours, we're going to see a bit more precipitation build here in the portions of southeastern Tennessee and parts of northern Georgia. And this is going to work its way into the southwestern mountains of North Carolina, the mountains of North Georgia, and eventually maybe even some flurries working their way into parts of the northwestern upstate of South Carolina. So a lot of these areas have yet to see snow this year, so this will be a pretty nice surprise for areas here of uh, northern Georgia and parts of the mountains here in southwestern North Carolina. Uh, nothing crazy out of this in terms of snow totals or travel impacts, uh, but could receive upwards of maybe close to a half an inch and even an inch in isolated spots that really are able to luck out here. It has been so cold this week uh, that everything should stick relatively easily. So whatever snow does fall will definitely accumulate. But of course, maybe some areas getting into, you know, half an inch, maybe even upwards of an inch, I think especially down into sections of extreme southeastern Tennessee and maybe the southwestern mountains of North Carolina. As for North Georgia and the upstate of South Carolina, the areas that do see snow, um, they will likely see a dusting uh, as, a witty, uh, as a, excuse me, a pretty widespread uh, thing with potentially a quarter of an inch, half an inch of snow in the areas that are really able to luck out through here. I know nothing's really shown up on the map, but I would expect this to overperform at least a little bit. So let's go ahead and transfer into the weather going into the rest of this week and into your new year. So we've been talking about this big pattern change. Uh, we're gonna see pretty uh, calm conditions here across a big portion of the country through the rest of this beginning part of the week. But as we get into uh, tomorrow and Wednesday, we're gonna see a pretty big storm system work its way through the West Coast with really heavy mountain snow in these areas and coastal rainfall. And that is eventually gonna work its way through the Rockies and create our next system here in the East going into the middle and end of the week. Sorry about that, let me back that up. Uh, as you can see here, we got low pressure diving out of the Rockies here, here into the Southern Plains. And what that's going to do is help to advect warm Gulf moisture northward here into sections of Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. And that's whenever we're gonna see this next system unfold and have rain breaking out going into your Thursday and Thursday afternoon. So this will likely continue with rainfall rates increasing uh, and we'll have to watch out for some severe weather in these areas. I'll touch on that here in the next couple days in the videos following this, but for now I just want to talk about the overall pattern. Uh, but heavy rain likely in a lot of these areas here up the Mississippi as we kind of get the jet stream to change tra uh, trajectory into a pattern a lot like this. And uh, you'll see that with the rainfall that's going to move across the country here. This is going to be a lot of training with these storms. Uh, but we are going to get rain to move through just about all of the eastern United States with this system and the overall zonal flow that is ongoing. So as for New Year's Eve, I know a lot of New Year's Eve parties going on. Expect pretty rainy conditions throughout the southeast and especially the Ohio River Valley before that eventually moves through. By the time we get into your New Year's Day, it uh, could potentially clear out a little bit in those areas as that precipitation moves up through the northeast, but still maybe another system tries to get going with lingering rain behind. So I would expect an overall cloudy and wet weekend here going into New Year's with this uh, zonal flow pattern beginning to set up and continue, likely even going into the week after New Year's, uh, more systems are likely to move through the eastern United States here 
as they all come in from the Pacific with this very zonal flow that we're looking at. Uh, so that's the GFS. The Euro really shows uh, the same pattern overall. Again, as you can see, pretty calm conditions throughout the country, especially the east side uh, going through to the middle of the week with some rain out west and really heavy mountain snow here at the beginning of the week. Uh, so again, Euro shows rain building back in going into your Thursday and Friday, kind of up the Mississippi River from Louisiana through Chicago. And then that rain will slowly work its way through the east with a pretty rainy New Year's Eve and then a rainy New Year's Day more into New England uh, with a little bit of clearing behind that. And then again, this pattern will continue going into the week after. We'll fine tune the details on the next storm, um, but just be prepared for a rainy pattern over the next 10 days or so throughout the country. All right, let's go ahead and look at what kind of rainfall totals we're talking about with this. So this is going to show a general idea of how much rain you can expect in what areas through this week. Again, pretty dry here through Thursday. This is just what's left of that clipper system. Um, so just ignore that for now. But as you can see, pretty empty conditions here in terms of rainfall throughout the eastern and central United States. But for the beginning of this week, really heavy rain moves in off the Pacific into the West Coast and into the Rockies. And we'll take a look at some of these totals. Uh, some areas upwards of five to six inches of rain here into parts of coastal uh, Northern California and Oregon and Washington. And then all of this will be snow. So these higher elevation rain totals that you see are actually going to be converted to snow. And we'll take a look at that here in a minute. But even rain as far south as LA, upwards of an inch of rain throughout those areas, and maybe even some rain through Las Vegas. So uh, good that those areas can get some rain that they very much need. Uh, as for the East Coast, again, pretty rainy conditions here. Going through New Year's, I'd say a pretty widespread uh, one to three inches here throughout the south and southeast with maybe some higher amounts going into parts of southern Appalachia uh, and then up the Mississippi River. The further north you get, the less rain, uh, but still some rain through these areas closer to an inch. Then as for New England, I think upwards of an inch is a pretty safe bet as you're going to stay pretty dry there until, until likely New Year's Day. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the temperatures with this pattern as well. Uh, with this rain does mean a pretty big warm up. So as you, can see, excuse me, as you can see, still cold temperatures throughout the east right now, but that warm-up has already begun out west, and that will work its way into the east with the rain. So going into Thursday is whenever you'll really see that warm-up begin across the Mississippi uh, with that rain that will be moving in, and that will overtake the eastern United States with temperatures cooling off a little bit back out west um, with the heavy mountain snow in these areas, colder than normal temperatures but still about average uh, out west with maybe slightly warmer than average in the Pacific Northwest. So again, very above average temperatures in the east and along the Mississippi, and eventually just about all the lower 48 gets in on that going into your New Year's Day. So uh, definitely this will be a welcome change for many as we've had to deal with so much cold recently. Let's take a look at total snowfall now with this pattern. Uh, while there will be a lot of heavy rain in the east, we're going to have some pretty insane mountain snow totals back out west. So let's take an overall look at that here on the national level, and then we'll zoom in to uh, smaller sections and get an even more fine-tuned detail. So really starting into your Tuesday, the snow is going to begin to break out here uh, in the mountainous areas from the Sierra Nevadas throughout much of the Rockies. That snow is going to continue to fall all the way through the middle of the week until the end of the week snow still falling in a lot of these areas out west. So what we're going to do is we're just going to look at totals from now into New Year's Day. Uh, as you can see, really big totals out here, especially throughout the Sierra Nevadas. <laughs> Some places receiving more than 100 inches of snow likely, and we'll get a more in-depth view now as we kind of zoom this in. So we'll start here with the southwestern United States, and again, we're going to bring this out to about New Year's Day. So again, areas here through California, uh, widespread anywhere from three to five feet of snow, but some areas closer to 100 inches of snow uh, throughout these regions. Uh, even the mountains of Nevada getting in on this action, a lot of areas from one to two feet of snow on the higher peaks uh, with lower, <coughs> excuse me, lower totals, the lower you get in elevation. Now, even out here through Utah, very heavy snow totals. Go ahead and move this into the Pacific Northwest now, looking at Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Uh, let's move this back just a little bit. All right, there we go. Uh, again, very impressive totals here. Uh, 
again, counting just feet in snow on these really higher elevations here in parts of Oregon and working way up into the Cascadias. Uh, as for Idaho, again, higher up you go, the more snow you're going to get. But just about the entire state of Idaho here is going to see snow through this week. And then same story here into sections of western Wyoming and western Montana. All right, so that is all I've got for you today. Today is Monday, so I'll be back tomorrow on Tuesday. And uh, going into a little further into the week, we'll talk about maybe some severe weather chances with that first system that rolls through uh, coming into your Thursday and Friday. But hope everyone has a wonderful west, uh, excuse me, rest of their week, uh, and hopefully we can all enjoy this warm-up, and I will see you all tomorrow.